Hello. The objective of this video is to learn how to perform computations using scientific notation. Now, we're only going to get part way into this in this video. We're not. We're only going to work with multiplying and dividing. Com computations using scientific notation also includes adding and subtracting, but we're not going to get into that in this video. This is just going to be multiplying and dividing. So when it comes to multiplying scientific notation, let's take a look at this particular problem. If I was to do this the long way, I would make this 3 times 10 times 10, which would become the 300. I'd be multiplying that by 4 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 4,000. Well, you know, multiplying those two numbers, I'd probably rearrange this so that it was like this. I'd have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 12. So I would end up with 1,200,000. And to write the answer of scientific notation, I would have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I get 1.2 times 10 to the 6th power. Now, it'd be nicer if I didn't have to do this, expand it out to this. Now, these numbers aren't that big, but when we start talking about 10 to the 30th, 10 to the 15th, 1.872 times, you don't want to have to write out the numbers like this. So there is another way to look at it. If you start looking at it in terms of the fact that this is all being multiplied, and you can rearrange the order in multiplication, I could change the order here to be 3 times 4 times 10 squared times, sorry, times 10 to the third power. And when we do that, we end up getting 3 times 4 is 12. Like bases being multiplied, we add the exponents. We get times 10 to the positive 5. Now, this answer and that answer don't match up. But this answer is not in scientific notation. A lot of people may think it is because they see the times 10. But the number in front here has to be between 1 and 10. It can be equal to 1, but it cannot be equal to 10. Somewhere greater than or equal to 1, less than 10. Which means I have to move the decimal point here. I'm moving it from here over to here. If I'm moving it one place value, making this one place value smaller, since I make this one place value smaller and I've got to keep the same value, I've got to make this one value of 10 larger. So this becomes 1.2 times 10 to the 6th. Same answer. 1.2 times 10 to the 6th, 1.2 times 10 to the 6th. So as it turns out, if you multiply the first factors and add the exponents to the 10, you can get your answer for the scientific notation. And the only thing you have to do is just make sure that the final answer is written in scientific no notation by adjusting the first factor accordingly. Dividing. Again, if I were to do this the long way, I would do 1.2 times 10 to the fifth would be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I get 120,000 divided by 4,000 which would be uh, 4 goes into, well, the zeros will cancel out here, 0, 0, 0. So you go 4 into 120. 4 goes into 112 three times. With nothing left over, 4 goes into 0 times, so it would be 30. So the answer here is going to be 30. In scientific notation, 30 would be written as 3.0 times 10 to the 1. So that's what we should expect as the answer if we do this a different way. Remember when we were asked to simplify uh, expressions that had like bases, we said this was the same as saying 1.2 over 4 times 10 to the 5th over 10 to the 3rd. We subtract these bases. 5 minus 3 gives me 10 to the 2. 1.2 divided by 4 is going to give me 0 0.3. So 
So at this point, I have 0 0.3 times 10 to the 2. Doesn't look like it matches, but again, this number needs to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. This is not greater than 1. It's less than 1, which means I have to move the decimal point one place value this way, which is making it one place value larger, which means the exponent needs to get one place value smaller. If you make this side one larger, that side one smaller. This side one smaller, that side one larger. And so it's got to be the opposite there to keep it the same value. So this becomes 3 times 10 to the 2 minus 1, which is 1. Same answer as the long way of doing it. Again, with these particular examples, it may have seemed to be quicker doing this the long way, but you're not always going to have nice numbers to be working with here, times 10 to the 15th, times the 30th, times the 60th. You're going to want to be able to do this using the exponent rules here. So what are those rules? Just to recap here, steps for multiplying. Multiply the first factors of both numbers. Add the exponents to the tens. Write the answer for step one, the, multi the product of the first factors, times 10, you gotta write that x10, to the power from step two, the result, the sum of the exponents. Then check to make sure the result is in scientific notation. Make sure that front number is between 1 and 10. It can be equal to 1, it cannot be equal to 10, somewhere between 1 and 10. If not, adjust it accordingly. Rules for, multi for dividing in a slightly compact form here is divide the first factors, subtract the exponents, write it out as step 1 times 10 to the step 2, the exponent there. Step four is check to make sure the first factor is less than 10 and greater than or equal to one. So after that, that is the check. We've seen how to do that. Best way to learn math is to do math. Give these four problems a try. One, two, three, four problems a try. Pause the video. Welcome back. This one we're gonna do three times 5.1, which is gonna give you 15.3. We're going to be writing that as times 10 to the something, which would be the sum of these exponents. 8 plus 7 is 15. This is not, this is greater than 10, so I've got to adjust it by moving it over one place value. One place value making it smaller here means I've got to make it larger here, which becomes 1.53 times 10 to the 16. And that's my answer for number one. Number two, we're going to do 2 times 3.5, which gives us 7. Adding these exponents, when you add two negatives, you add the two numbers, 2 plus 8 is 10. Negative is going to be the answer, so we're going to have 7 times 10 to the negative 10. I do not need to simplify this further because this is between 1 and 10, we're good. All right, dividing, we subtract exponents, 4 minus 3. Is going, sorry, let's divide these factors here in front. 4.5 divided by 1.5 is going to give me 0 0.3. Is it? Let's just make sure I'm doing that right. I think it's actually going to supposed to be 3. 4.5 4 divided by 1.5. Yeah, sorry, it doesn't give you 0 0.3. It does give you 3. 4 minus 3 gives you times 10 to the 1. So again, you end up with a 30 there, written in scientific notation. Here, we're going to do 2.7 divided by 3, and we're going to get 0 0.9 times 10 to the negative 8 minus 4. Negative 8 minus 4 is going further into the negatives. So you end up getting negative 12. Now, that's not our final answer, because this number is not between 1 and 10. I do have to make this larger by moving it over one place value, which gives us 9. Since I made this one place value larger, I need to make this one place value smaller. So it's times 10 to the negative 13. We'll be working on this in class for the next few days, along with addition and subtraction of it, scientific notation. Thank you for watching. See you in class.